Hi everyone, Gav Azad here, and in today's video I shall be opening something a little different to my usual videos. You know, I'm usually opening Pokemon stuff, both vintage and modern, but in my search for um, vintage Pokemon packs, I came across these bad boys, but yeah, they are Star Wars Jedi Knight packs from the Decipher Company from the year 2001, so a very vintage set. Uh, I'm a big Star Wars fan, so I thought, you know what, let's pick these up. Here's the back. Star Wars, like you've never seen before. Jedi Knight features state-of-the-art 3D special effects created by an award-winning team of over 60 digital artists. Join a Jedi Knight's player league at your local toy store, game store, or hobby shop and receive a free Luke Skywalker card. I wonder how much they are worth now, those free... Luke Skywalker cards he's given out back in the day. Here is Decipher, The Art of Great Games. It contains 11 randomised playing cards. Now, I've never seen... The, I've, I've only ever seen the films, you know, so I've, I've never, like, collected any models from Star Wars or any cards. So this is this is brand new for me. I cannot wait to get into these. Um, they weren't even that expensive. They were, like, I think £10 for these four. And I've got more coming back as well from eBay. So uh, if you're a Star Wars fan and you collect like Pokemon cards or Yu-Gi-Oh cards, why not give these a go? They're vintage from 2001. And yeah, I mean, why not? Let's have a look. But, you know, it won't be a Garazard video without cracking into a Pokemon pack first. So I can open this ball turned artwork Fusion Strike pack from Sword and Shield. And then we'll get into the uh, vintage Star Wars stuff. Let's do it. I just thought, you know, let's do something a little different. In the background, you'll see other things that I collect that are not exactly Pokemon cards. So we've got Pops. Uh, it's obviously a nice Pikachu one I had for Christmas off my friend Hazel. So thank you for that. And the uh, Gareth Bale PSA 9 Vortex on Panini Revolution. I'm a big uh, football fan as well. Soccer, if you're American. But... Uh, my favourite players are Gareth Bale and Jack Grealish. I also support Aston Villa, so I collect Bale, Grealish and Aston Villa cards. So, uh, yeah, I don't just collect Pokemon cards. I'm a big collector of all things, you know. Uh, and Pops-wise, I collect a lot of Pokemon Pops. And also, like, uh, my favourite sport athletes. I got a Conor McGregor one. I got a few other ones, you know. So, uh, yeah, let's get into the first pack. Leaf Energy. Sydney. Cross Switcher, Croconaw, Gossifleur, Panport, Eevee, a Shinx, a Shelmet, Copperaja Reverse Hollow, and oh, okay, another Apple Pokemon, <laughs> Apple 10v. Not huge on my fruit, but we'll take it. It's a V card nonetheless. So there's the uh, the Pokemon stuff out of the way. Let's get into our first ever Jedi Knight Star Wars booster pack from 2001. I really I haven't looked into these cards at all online, so I have no idea what to expect. Will they be hollows? I read 3D on the back of the pack, so maybe it's 3D packs. 3D cards. Let's have a look, shall we? Is that a bend down the middle? Or was I meant to be there? Anyway, Alien Jawa. Yeah, that, bend, that, that line's not there, so it must be the first card. Maybe is that like a, like a Pokemon sort of like print line sort of thing? It's the same equivalent? Or was it just a crease down the middle? I think that's a crease. Never mind. Anyway, Imperial Pilot. Look at these artworks, they're so cool. I wonder what the card trick is as well, whether like the good card will be in the middle or at the back, you never know. Weapon step, it's an event card. A pistol, it's a weapon card. There he is, the big man Darth Vader with his lightsaber, look at that. It's an event called Deploy Phase. Um, yeah, I've never played the game, I've never heard of these, so I'm, it's, it's new for me as well as you guys, if you've never heard of it as well, so... Limit one on table while Vader is in play. Opposing side's weapons are one minus one to hit. Once per deploy phase, you may discard two cards from your hand to draw a card. 
Seems like a fun game to me, but look how cool the artworks are. Starship X-Wing. Very cool, very cool. A Starfighter. Rebel Pilot Rogue Squadron. And one but last card, I believe, is a Weapon Step. Another Weapon Step, is that it? No, one more card. A Starfighter. Starship Starfighter. The artworks on these cards are so cool. I have no idea what to expect. So uh, a 3D card. There's no 3D cards in that pack. So maybe you're not guaranteed. Again with that line. Look at that line. Is it just that card in particular? Because that's the second card now in the front with the line. Not ideal really. I may contact the uh, the seller about that. Right, here we go. Imperial Trooper, look at that. Personal pistol, typical. Weapon step. An Imperial Trooper, very cool looking cards. These, I gotta be honest. Capital Corvette. An alien spy, look at that. <laughs> alien Tuscan Raider. Rebel Pilot Rogue Squadron. Personal Artillery, typical. A Smuggler Pilot, an alien. And that's the last card of that pack. Let's look at the backs a minute. Oh, them backs are stunning. Same as the... Uh, the pack art, which I thought was gorgeous, that like sort of like toxic slime green, you know, it's beautiful. But we're still open for these that sort of like uh, maybe character cards, if you will, like a Luke Skywalker or a Darth, or a Darth Vader or anything, really, you know. I mean, there's two more packs to open on this video. I have ordered five more packs off eBay, so there'll be more chances. And yet again, yet again, the front card with that line. It has to be damaged at this point, guys, doesn't it? That can't be a coincidence, surely it's got to be damaged. Anyway, a trooper. An Imperial trooper. A Gomerian guard. Look how cool that is. That was me after my Christmas dinner yesterday. <laughs> Imperial trooper. A rebel trooper. Just a normal trooper. Imperial trooper. All these troopers back to back. <laughs> An alien. Look how handsome he is. <laughs> a personal pistol. Another Imperial trooper. Oh, look at that. Awesome. It's a cool artwork. Still no 3D cards though, so I'm guessing these packs may be weighed. I'm guessing with a 3D card it'll be quite heavy, so... Uh, Maybe the seller actually weighed these packs and pulled all the 3D cards for himself and sold the rest, which is not ideal. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments whether you think these are weighed packs. I mean, still, for a pack from 2001, four packs for a tenner, even for like weighed, like light packs, is still a, you know, a cheap price for the, uh, the age of the packs, you know. The last pack of the video anyway, let's, uh, let's get into it. This card... I mean, it does have that same sort of like damage line on the bottom, but in down the middle, but it's very faint, so it's quite hard to see on video. So maybe a bit less uh, damaged that one. A deploy phase. <laughs> I like that. Look at that in the, in the the gaze of the stormtrooper looking. Look at that. Nice little stormtrooper squad. Look at them all judging you. Look at them. They're watching you. <laughs> Deploy phase. Capital Star Destroyer. It's an awesome ship. Oh, what the? What's that? Seven Force Credit for Draw 3. Some sort of game in-game card with the back. Imperial Trooper. So yeah, these definitely haven't got any 3D cards in them, so they're definitely weighed. Uh, I probably will be contacting the seller, but I, I'm still enjoying the video, don't get me wrong. 
but I would have liked to have pulled a nice sort of 3D card, you know. And the last two cards, Imperial Trooper and Weapon Step. As always, guys, hit that like button on the video, subscribe. And I thought I'd bring you something a little different this video, you know, to uh, my, my usual Pokemon openings. But yeah, cheers, and I shall see you next time.